Hey everyone, um, Zombot32 bring you uh, some Fortnite. I'm just chatting with you. Yes, this is Save the World right now, but this ain't about Fortnite. This is something about something about the newest game that's came out. Well, coming out for PC. It's called Marvel's uh, Rivals, and look. Why in the world at this time we're getting another competition game? Has has anyone ever stopped and asked why in the world I would get another competition game? No. No 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 one asked. So I'm trying to get at is that at this time this moment we got about three days from now. Until the game officially comes out. They're saying on the 10th, like it's supposed to come out, but it's it's not gonna happen. They got some time that they had to work some bugs on. But you're going to be playing as different characters in the game. And you know not all the characters are right here. Like you're gonna play as you know, I'm in I don't know about Thor, they didn't show Thor. Spider-Man, there's a uh, Spider-Girl, the one from the um, multi-first thing with a robotic suit. You got Storm, you have Magneto, you have all these other different characters, even Scarlet Wish, Witch, but and Mantis and them, and the hell. I'm trying to get at is why are we making another competition game? Yes, this is gonna be PC only, but about the time it does go to consoles, the PC gamers all they play the game, they know what to do, they can kick your butt, beat the snot out of you. It's like you give them the hand, you give these PC gamers a competition. Well, not really a competition. You get them an opportunity to take advantage of the game. They take on the newcomers and just torture the newcomers from playing the game. And then what happens to the newcomers, they want to play the game again and they just leave. Just jump into some other game. So, I'm trying to get at is, why in the world are you making another competition game? What's the story behind this game? What's the story behind Marvel's Rivals? Do I have to go on YouTube, watch a video from Comic Extraordinaire or Comic Explain to tell me what's going on, why, why, why they're against each other? I mean, seriously. It's bad enough that you're taking everything and making it into a competition. I get it. This one is Marvel, but Overwatch style. It's it's annoying. I mean, seriously, you might as well take everything you watch, movie, games, anything, books. Take everything you ever want and make it into competition. Make it was two. Make it is six politics against another six politics. Fight against each other in the middle of. The front floor you know and make that into a game or take youtubers and make it where the vikings each other on the floor or make it where youtubers beat the snot out of each other as a game it just you get them on trying to get at you can make anything a game these days take the famous actors and actresses and make it into a game where they beat the snot out what the hell is going on Okay, this game must be bugged really bad. Something like this is going on. Let me try this one. The point I'm trying to get at is that you're taking everything and making it into a competition. Why is there so much competition going on of a new game? They already got a prize. <clears throat> 
waiting for a team at the end who wins $22,500 first place winners really they, 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 they don't trust the game when it first goes out to be played by others they enjoy the game and have fun with the game now you already made a tournament out of it but just don't eat money into it and have the people ready to go to play the game and make money there ain't that much of an opportunity right there man you're not giving people enough time to enjoy the game have fun with the game and see what kind of combination everything can come up with I'm saying this is annoying they're, they're, they're not so confident that the game will get more people to play the game and it's only for PC and laptop right now well I don't know about laptop but it's only for PC gamers it's annoying as hell is that they're doing this like why why can't you just put the game out there where people can actually have fun playing the game because everyone else gets a what trophy playing the game have fun with the game no I get it man but here's the thing this game aim offline mode there's no offline mode you gotta play the game online Will you get a physical copy of the game? Thanks. I don't think so. Like, they want to save money. And the best way to save money is by what? Make it a digital. Not yet located. I just... You know, you know, you know, when I was playing Overwatch... I got in it like, you know, some time ago after playing the first time ever. It's like, like a year later and I was like, people like so higher up in level and they're picking flags, picking names and tearing up people. It's just, it's, it's gonna be like that, man. When you get some newcomers who jump in the game and I'm sorry you get your butt torn up. You're not on the same equal level. And like I, I I'm trying to say, man, PC gamers will have always the upper advantage when it comes to console. Because they're always going to want to do cross, cross platform. You're going to have people going to want the PC game to cross over to, you know, console where they can play with their friends supposedly online with them. Knowing, like, no, it's probably PC gamers. Who wants to play against console gamers where they could bully them and kick their face in and like laugh at them like ha 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 I'm the best of the best now play against a PC gamer against console gamer you can see a difference drop the atlas on the target when you're ready sooner or later that game Marvel Rivals will cross-platform because like they do it every game they will make it cross-platform they can't do it without it and you know what the sad part is they can't make it where that the game you can't just play the game first have fun with the game before they start adding up turn they have to throw money into it to get people to play the game and make it legit happen. It's just why? You're not confident enough about the game being good as it is. Is the game have to be that critical? You have to put money into it just for people to play the tournament. See if it's gonna go. Well, you know, it's gonna be like any other game out there. And when it comes to tournaments, there's gonna be cheaters. And guess what? They have not checked out the bugs. They have not checked everything now. They won't be monitoring ties everything. And I, I truly doubt this game, Marvel Rivals, if it's going to be any good. It's going to be, how, how would I say, it was good, it was great, and then what? 
yeah, cheaters come along. And cheaters beat the game. And the game is... The tournament's big. It's just... Look, do you want to play a game that just forces you where you have to play very hard, like extremely hard, at the game, knowing that, hey, look, you get off your butt, you went to work, you come home, and then you wanted to play a relaxing game, and so you look at this game, you want to try this game out, now suddenly, the people who uh, came up with this game, it's tense as hell. Like, literally. It, it's not it's not really much of a competition. You're, you're not a competition. You're not you just it's just another thing just saying that you're not good as these pe players. Because why? Because they took the time, the dedication, to sit there to play the game all day. And look, who's able to sit there all day to play the game all day? Who sits there all day and plays the game all day? Competition people. Players who play competition. This is this is just another way you can make money. And do you think any other players out there who could just, I don't know, play the game on the first try and how good they are. Now, just doesn't work that way. Look, we're in the middle of the stinking inflation crap that's going on. Money, 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 money. And look, that you're taking, well. you're taking you this and you're making this into a thing that doesn't need to be done. There's so many games out there already that has competitions. I get it, I get it. There's a casual mode where you play against AI. And then you got people out there who will mock you for playing that mode. Saturday. Playing with your buddies, playing with your friends, playing with this, playing with that. It's just... Why? Did anyone ask for the game like this? Did, did anyone ask for, hey, let's, uh, let's make a competition game, but this time, make it into Marvel. You know what, you added? it. You might as well make Star Wars into a competition game. Get the Jedi's, get the Stormtroopers, get, get different characters in the game and make it into a competition. 6 on 6, 10 on 10, you know what I mean, make it into a tournament. While you at it, make a family guy game where it's a competition against each other. A beat em up game. Wow, easy to make money. Why you at it? Make a Rick and Morty game, make it into a competition. You got all the characters, you got everything you need to make a competition. I mean, sis, seriously. Take any game you want, any movie you want, make it into a competition. Just make it into a competition. Just do it. You, you do it. Take Finance of Freddy's, make it into a competition. But Emma Thomas is beating the hell out of each other to see who get the win. And if it doesn't work, you know what you can do? Add prize money to it to get people to play it. And besides, Marvel Rivals, I don't know what's the story about it, why is it doing this. It's just for fun. Really? Is it for fun? Sounds like it's about making money. All those other characters like Magneto, Cable them, um, Storm, Star Lord, Sky Witch, 
Mantis. They're probably gonna be, I don't know, part of high walls. Pay the wall thing. So you have to pay to get the characters online. Like any other character, when the game comes out, they're gonna be locked behind paywall. You gotta pay for it. You wanna get them. You know what? They're at it. They probably gotta make a season pass. What do you have to unlock those characters? And the ones who could probably afford it will be the ones who, I don't know, got money to spare. Knowing that, hey, you know, it doesn't matter what's going on, you know, about you got rent, you got bills to pay, you got groceries to pay, you have a job you have to keep going back to to make more money, the job won't pay you enough. You know, you get, they want to make a game where you throw more money out there into it. I get it. I understand. It's just, you know, I get it. CEO, people are high up, has to make money. And they have to get their money back, so on and so forth. But you know what? If you heard about what happened when it came to, I don't know, Microsoft, they let go another group of developers in the game. Because of uh, what happened, they made a good game, and the sad part is, it got released. What was the game called? Uh, high, high Rise? High Rise? High, high, high Rise? High Rise? Whatever. The game is. The point is. You can make a good game, and you can be like, uh. Now it's like starting to come where it's not about how fun you are, it's about beating the hell out of yourself to play the game to the point where it's tough to do. I get it, I understand. You don't want to make everything about, you know, everyone gets a trophy. That's not the point. What I'm trying to say is that please, why can't you make a game where you can have fun with it? But it's like you can't. You just can't. The game has to be hard. The game has to be tense. The game has got to be hard as hell. You might as well make the game called Hell Mode. Or call game called Hell. And that's pretty much what it is. It's game hell. That's it. It's like everyone wants to make games, like Fortnite them, but they don't get it. How the game came to be. All they care about is just making the thing on money, as much as they did. They get in that bullcrap, making money loop back there. <sighs> Look, my heart goes out. Well, my condolences go out to all of those developers who uh, got laid off from Microsoft. Decided that Microsoft has to let go of their own people, even though they were the really, really good ones. Just for more money. But do we really, really need another competition here. A game that you don't own. You can't own the game. You're getting to the point, man, that you play the game and that's what you do. You don't own the game. Any money you put into these online games and they always do this every time that there's no offline mode. They want to make an online deal where you don't have online can't play the game. You can't play the game offline mode. Three seconds left to go. Like I found out like Plants vs. Zombies, you can play the game offline mode. But that part is man.
all the characters you got, everything you put into it, it's limited. Like this game 4 died. No offline mode. But you know, that's it, that's it. You lose everything, you lose everything. I'm just saying. I don't know why in the world is gaming companies trying to make everything online and they don't want to make it offline. Because everyone else gets mad upset about it. I want to play online with my friends. I want a game I can play online. You know, you can do. You can make a game that you can play online and offline. But they choose not to. I'm just saying. Why? You know what? They never thought of this. You see the avatar? You see all these characters? They can make a competition game. Competitive game. Have all the avatars and have all these characters go against each other. Fight against each other. Whoopie doo. Another online game competition. Take all the avatar characters. Right there. You see right there. In front of you. Fight against each other. Make another tournament. And you know what? No one doesn't want to play the game because, you know, this and that. How about this? Slap money in it. Everything works. I'm just want to get this over with and done with. And hopefully, hopefully you heard everything that I was saying on this game. Marvel Vibrals. I don't know what the story of it. Why the fight against each other? Why in the world do you got Galactica, Galactus' daughter, hosting the game? What happened to the Game Master? What happened to the Collector? Ugh. But what, what about the high evolution person? You know, like, what about the Beyond Egg? You couldn't have the Beyond Egg being controlled, saying how everything is in his control. Or the Watcher, you know? Like, make it where the Watcher tells the story about how all this came to be. As an opening trailer, you know? And tell you why this is happening. And then, oh, suddenly. They decide to, I don't know, show you the gameplay of Marvel Bibles. But, whatever. Everyone working at their company, it's just a yes, man. Everyone struggles, everyone's trying to make money. Anyways, I want to get this out, let you know. And I don't like where this is going, and I just wish we could just... I don't know. Make a game if you want to play online or not. You know, add some story to it. Make some sense to it. You, sh you show a trailer where all these Marvel rival characters going against each other, fight against each other. Good. I like the gameplay. I like it. And I love the work. I love the design. But the sad part is, what is the story? And if I had to go online, go watch the video, about a YouTuber who talks about it in the comics and they don't put it in the game and there's no story to it. It's just... Why? They're just there to fight against each other for no reason. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Wash your hands and be cool everyone. See you around and see you next time. For... My again, you know my channel. I'm Boss32. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. And y'all have a good night. Bye y'all. And don't forget, wash your hands. Again.